Now, unlike our own family, our next guest was always sceptical of growing up with the paranormal. But that all changed one evening when she fell head over heels in love with a ghost called Eduardo. Um, and it's... Uh... I literally just felt this burning sensation in my heart. I was propelled forward. Then it literally went cold. This hand, like, grabbed my arm and threw it back. It's kind of like been a year and a half now that this presence has been around and it's just got progressively more intense. He left with the words saying, I love you. I've questioned it a lot. You know what? As far as I'm concerned, love is love. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah, just yeah. enjoy your life. It's unusual. Well, it is unusual, but their supernatural love story doesn't end there because later on today, Brockard and Eduardo will be getting married in a special Halloween ceremony. Well, ahead of the wedding, she's joining us now. It's lovely to see you. Welcome. Thank you Happy, Happy wedding day. Back. Thank you, yes. <laughs> so just, um, just remind us how you met Ed Eduardo. Well, he was... It's, it was an unconventional meeting, let's say that. Um, he kind of burst into my bedroom in the dead of night um, and kind of captivated me, sent sensations all over my body, um, and that was our first so he's encounter. A, he's Victorian? He's a Victorian soldier, yes. Right. And so how do you, how do you sort of communicate with him? I mean, if this is a, a relationship in the sense of, uh, like, other people would have a relationship, is it, is it a physical relationship? Yeah, it's... He communicates by putting sensations through my body. So when he's around, I'll feel like I'm being embraced, like a kind of warm hug. And if there's things that he's really, really unhappy about, he will like send chills down my body and things like that. And we're sometimes when we're kind of trying to get more conversational, we'll kind of converse by a candlelight. So he'll flicker a candle as a sign of saying yes. Oh, wow. So it's very interesting. So well, we started your introduction by saying that you were initially very sceptical about the yeah. supernatural. Now, now, if you're sceptical about the supernatural and you're suddenly a ghost bursts into your bedroom in the dead of night, yeah. I mean, that would be enough to probably finish me off. Well, exactly, yeah. It, it's one of those things that before I didn't have any kind of... I wasn't one of those people that believed in ghosts. I didn't have a preference either way, if that makes sense. And he, his but didn't force... it scare you? It completely terrified me the first time I met him. It was, it was unnerving, like I sat up in bed and I had tears streaming down my face and it was really, really intense. And I think it was the fact that it was so intense that kind of converted me into believing that there, was, there had to be something that mm. did this to me. There had to be something that, you know, there had to be something to it. So you got used to the relationship, you're now very much in love. And in fact, yeah. last time when you came on to talk about it, um, you told that here. <laughs> what? <gasps> what? What, 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 what is it? He's here. Is he? Well, I should hope so too. It's your wedding day. Where is he? What's happening? What is happening? Where is he? What's happening? What is happening? Can't, can't you see him? No. No, definitely not. Definitely not here. And you'd think that I would be able to see him. He, d he doesn't like you. He doesn't like oh me. Oh, my no. God. No, well, that's fair enough. Well, I'm sorry, sorry. No, don't worry. He's a bit rude. I'm not marrying him. No, I know. Um, so it is... Welcome, wherever he is. It is your wedding day today. You're going straight to the church. Yeah. You found it quite difficult to find a church that would marry you. Yeah, because I think there's a little bit of an issue in terms of, like, religion and the afterlife and not all priests believe in... He's really ruined my crown. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks, Eduardo. <laughs> Why has he done that? Maybe he doesn't like it. Do you think it's a sign? I don't know. Well, the thing is that the last time you came on I here shouldn't... and talked about him, he ghosted you for he a week. He did ghost me for a week. Yeah. So, I don't, maybe he doesn't approve of being spoken about. Um, so, uh, so maybe he, maybe doesn't, he doesn't approve of this, does he? Oh, maybe he doesn't well, like you <laughs> coming on the telly and talking about him. Perhaps you I, ought, honestly, perhaps, maybe you should take that off as well. <laughs> I actually can't even take it off. Like it's literally just there now, isn't okay. it? It's fine. It's See, fine. Eduardo has ruined my wedding day by making me look like an Are idiot you sure on TV. Are you sure you want to marry him? Like, is this is this? Uh... I mean, I think I don't know. It's not looking good, is it? <laughs> Well, I, I mean, I don't know. It's hard for us to... I mean, I can't, you can't judge about somebody else's relationship. You've got to go on how you feel in yeah. this situation. Yeah, and I it, think we should definitely ditch the crown for the well, ceremony. So I, I would think that... That is quite a strong protest against... Um, Eduardo, <laughs> I wonder whether there is any way that you could... Whoa! You know, sort of stop, make... Stop, stop make, like uh, make some sort of make, make my script move or something. If there's anything you could do, Eduardo, just if you flicker candles... 
for Brockard? He said don't test him. <laughs> If there's anything you could do, he said he's not cooperating. No. Well, he doesn't like the telly, does he? Because he didn't like that last does. time with no. you. Um, I hope, what do you hope for the future with him? He's not standing at the altar after this. No. I have, well, I hope... How will you know? Well, I'll feel his presence. Right. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, I hope it all goes well. So do I. Yeah. I'm worried now. Yeah, well, don't be worried. Don't you. be worried. <laughs> you know, go, go off the telly and have a cup of tea with Eduardo, yeah. light a candle and... Yeah, I'll have to woo him back again. <laughs> exactly. I? Write him another song. <laughs> you did that last time with your song, that you yes, wrote, which I, I think you're walking down the aisle to, aren't you? Yes, I am, yeah. It's yeah. called Haunted, so, yeah. It, it's about our supernatural romance. So. Well, happy wedding day. Um, Thank you. Have a much. lovely afternoon. Make sure you take Eduardo with him. Please don't leave him in our studio. Yeah, I don't think he wants to be here, so I'll no. take okay, him with fine. me. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.